I knew this was going to happen. Not me getting a delivery five minutes to the Teflon drop. Okay, now. Ah, oh, this is so nerve wracking. What in the world? Bruh, your order's being processed. Does that mean I got it? I think it means I got it. I got it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ifeiwa and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. As you can see from the title of today's video, I finally have my Telfar bag. <laughs> Not Teflar. If you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs, then you'll know the inside joke. I thought that I would do a little bit of a reveal, tell you a little bit about my buying experience, how to get a Teflar bag and all that good stuff. I feel like I should quickly mention that I'm actually really sick. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I've tried to put myself together. The show must go on. But um, yeah, if my energy is low or anything like that, I'm battling a, a cold or something of the sort. So if this is your first time here, my name is Ifeiwa. I make videos all about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love to have you here. If you're feeling the vibe, consider subscribing to all my returning subscribers. Welcome back. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and let's get right into this video. <laughs> let's do a little bit of a reveal and then I will tell you about my buying experience and all that. So this is what my bag came in, in case you guys don't know, I actually ended up buying my bag on the American Telfar website because it's significantly cheaper than buying it on the EU website. I'll put up like prices on the screen in case you're curious. I had a friend who was coming from the US that could bring it for me, so I was able to save a significant amount of money that way. In addition to the prices being better, on the US market, you also get free shipping, whereas on the EU market, the prices are higher and you also have to pay 40 pounds for shipping, which I just thought was not a really good deal. I'm just gonna wait for that truck. <laughs> so my bag did come in like a plastic cellophane situation, which I have obviously taken off and then it came in this huge dust bag. So the dust bag is pretty standard, I would say. A nice thick fabric and the logo is printed. Nothing else came in the bag other than this and the plastic that I've obviously thrown away. And this is the bag that I went for. So I went with the large Telfar shopping bag in the black color. On top of it, there is this tag right here. There you go. And then that is the model name of the bag. The bag opens up with this little popper detail right here. So on the inside of the bag, you have that zips compartment right here. It's a bit difficult to show you, but that's a zips compartment. And then you also have a little sleeve on this side that doesn't have a zip, but you can obviously put things that you just need to separate. And then on the inside of the bag, it's just a huge, huge, huge gaping hole. <laughs> the bag itself, I believe, is made from polyurethane. If I'm wrong, I will correct myself, but this is not a real leather. It's what all the cool kids are calling vegan leather now, but it's essentially plastic. Um, it doesn't have a weird smell or anything. However, I kind of have lost my smell, <laughs> but um, I don't think it has a weird smell. It does feel very soft and supple, which was kind of like my first concern because I don't think that this is a bag that will keep its shape very well. But in terms of like the actual quality of the bag, the stitching, it looks really good. I like that it has these really long shoulder straps as well as the top handle. I think the design is just really classic and minimal and elegant and it's literally like an embossed logo right in front and center. So it's not anything that's too garish. There's not really too much to show you about the bag. It is a huge tote bag. And I bought this bag primarily for the purpose of travel. Let me get into, I guess, why I decided to buy this bag. And then I'll tell you about how to get a Telfar bag if you're interested. After my trip to Nigeria, which was earlier in the year, I realized that I needed a bigger travel bag. <laughs> I typically travel with my uh, cabin suitcase, which is a, the Ramoa Classic Cabin S and I was kind of using a handbag to put in all my laptop, my AirPod Maxes, all of like the things that you need quick and easy access to your water bottle. And it was just, 
it wasn't big enough. So I knew that I needed a bigger bag that could sit on top of my Ramoa and strictly for the purpose of travel. And Ramoa does something that's quite similar to this, but it's like a thousand pounds. I was not going to spend that. And obviously I don't think it's worth a thousand pounds, even if I was. So I started to think about other brands. I wanted something that had like a structured shape that would sit on top of my suitcase. So I knew I wanted something that would be rectangular, fairly big and a reasonable price. And I've never bought anything from Telfar. This is my first Telfar bag. I decided to do some research and look into this brand. I know these bags were super popular. I think they probably still are very popular, but I didn't really know too much about the brand. I just knew it was black owned. I know that Beyonce had shouted them out a few times and that's pretty much all I knew. So of course, like most people, I went to their Instagram and the one thing that really got me was how interesting their marketing was. If you guys don't know, I work in marketing. I'm so into brand identity and all of that. And I could just tell that there was a lot of creativity behind their marketing. They post the most random things. And I ended up watching a couple of interviews by the owner. Um, he has a really good interview on The Breakfast Club. So definitely check that out. And just hearing his story about how he wanted to create a fashion brand that was inclusive for everybody. All of his clothes and his bags and everything are unisex. And just hearing his story about how he's been grinding for, you know, for such a long time and what he's been able to accomplish. I, I knew after watching that interview that I definitely wanted to support. So um, the way Telfar works, which is again, back to like their unique marketing, they basically release a new color of this bag every single week. And I think the new colors drop on Thursdays and they will let you know what the color of the week is, I think on the Tuesday. I just think that is so genius, mind you, because Telfar does so many colors. So it's definitely one of those things where they build momentum and they build hype and they've been able to sustain that hype because you can be waiting for months for the color that you want to drop, right? I just thought that was very clever. So once I realized that that was like the name of their game, I was like, okay, fine. I'm probably going to end up waiting for a while because I knew I wanted black. I wanted a travel bag. I think darker colors work better as travel bags. And in terms of the whole like Ramoa aesthetic, the only bag that would look right with a Ramoa to me anyway, would be the black one. So I knew I wanted black. So I just thought, you know, this is probably going to be a situation of me waiting for the black to come in stock or I would probably check out on the pre-loved market or something. I wasn't really sure. Tell me why I literally made up my mind to buy this bag on the Monday and they announced that Tuesday that the black was dropping. I just couldn't believe like how lucky I got. Now, again, I don't know how often they drop black. Black could be one of those colors that they drop more frequently. I don't know. I'm still very new to the brand, but I just thought that was like confirmation that I should definitely try and get one of these bags. So I decided to go on YouTube like I always do and do all my research into how to get one because up until that point I had heard how fast things sell out. First thing you kind of need to do is follow their Instagram if you're on Instagram or sign up for their email newsletter. I think they actually announced on Instagram before the email newsletter if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, you want to make sure that you're in the loop. So you want to make sure that you are following them on Instagram or at least subscribe to their email newsletter or whatever is your preferred way. I think one of the two or at least both so that you can stay on top of when things drop. So what I ended up doing was I went onto the Telfar website and I created an account already. So I signed up on their website. I filled in my email address, my postal address, my billing address, all of the information that I could actually fill in. And then I already have my card details saved onto my laptop anyway. I set an alarm for the drop time. So the drop time ended up being 5 p.m. UK time, which is very convenient for me because it's literally like right when I get off work. So a couple of minutes before five, I literally was waiting on the website and just refreshing. If you guys watch that vlog, I will actually have it linked. I was basically just refreshing, refreshing, refreshing and eventually the bags came in stock because before then it's just the landing page and it says coming soon. The bags eventually came in stock. I quickly added one to my basket. All of my details were already there. So I literally was already on the checkout page, I think at 5.01 and that's how I was able to buy it. It was very, very stressful. I'm making it sound very, very calm. Watch the vlog to see how it actually was in real life. But I was successful, which is the most important part. And yeah, that's how I got my bag. Another thing I forgot to mention is in addition to the once a week drop that they offer. They also have this thing, I can't remember what it's called. I think they do this thing once a year where you can pretty much buy any bag you want and any color you want. 
and then they'll go off and produce it so that you don't have to wait for like the weekly drop for the color that you want to come in stock. But I have heard that with that way, it can take months because I think at that point, they're essentially just ordering the bags based on how much of the demand that they get. So you kind of have to wait for several months if you go down that route. I've only used this on one trip, well two, well one trip, but like going and coming back. I definitely think that this is a bag that I will get a lot of use out of for traveling, but probably not much else. And I'll tell you why. This large size bag is ginormous. Once you fill this bag up, it is so, so, so heavy, guys. I really do not know how people use this bag as an everyday bag. The only way I could comfortably carry this was by putting it on top of my carry on and wheeling it that's the only way and from that perspective i really wish it had one of those like straps at the back that you could put over your pulley i'm thinking about potentially trying to customize it but i think i'll ruin the bag that's the only thing that's making me a bit nervous but this bag is so 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 heavy a friend of mine has the medium size and she says that that's the perfect size for like a work bag or an everyday bag i've also seen the small size in real life and personally i would not go for the small mainly because <laughs> these straps are not detachable and with the small bag if you put the straps into the actual bag it takes up all the space in the bag like the bag is very very small which I think is a bit of a design flaw I definitely think these straps should be if not removable at least adjustable especially on this bag I'll show you what it looks like on me but I'm not going to lie to you I would never ever ever fill this bag up and put it on my shoulders like you guys already know the neck pain that I have anyway so I'm not trying to do all of that that's why I would personally say that this bag is strictly for travel and not just travel but travel when you have a carry-on to wheel it on top of at least for me anyway what do i think about this bag i think it's good value for money personally i do in the world of luxury bags it is very well priced i really 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 like that it is by a black designer i really like his story I think that there has been a lot of thoughtfulness that has gone into the brand. I personally would like to see an all leather version. I think that would be really cool. I also would like to see a version of this bag that maybe has a bit more structure. It is great for storage, by the way, because it folds flat. I can literally store my bag like this in the dust bag and it takes up no space at all. So from that perspective, it is great. But I am considering potentially looking for an organizer or just something that will help it keep its shape over time because I personally prefer more structured bags. My only criticism as far as the actual design would be I personally think that these straps are too long. I think these straps are a bit too long and I really think that a lot of brands miss the mark when they create bags like this and the straps are not adjustable and removable. I mean, I'm sure it's an extra cost because if it was a removable strap, there would need to be hardware on the bag. I just think it makes the bag more versatile. I personally would prefer for the bag to be like a little bit more expensive and the straps be adjustable and removable than it just be like this. Because for me, especially for the way I use the bag, these straps are useless. So I would rather they just not be on the bag. There is possibly someone will tell me I can cut the straps off and maybe I'll actually consider doing that at some point. Because maybe if I cut the straps off, I can use it to like create that band that I was telling you guys about. Who knows? I just got it, so I'm obviously not going to start hacking away at it, maybe after I've had it for a while and I don't care as much. In addition to the whole straps thing, there's also no feet on the bag. But I, 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 I do think that it's still good value considering how affordable it is, so I would definitely recommend it. I think after I've had this bag for a bit longer and I've tried it a little bit more, I can come to you guys and tell you a little bit about wear and tear and whether I think the quality is worth it. The one thing that I know will end up happening is that it's going to become more slouchy over time and that's not really the look that I like personally when it comes to bags. I'm hoping that that doesn't happen anytime soon because I am not planning on using this bag every single day. All right guys, so I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have a Telfar bag, let me know what color, what combination. Leave a comment down below and I will catch you guys in my next one very soon. Stay blessed, stay safe and take care. Bye.